Meron tayong kasabihan, aanhin pa ang damo kung patay na ang kabayo. Hihintayin pa ba natin na mawala ang ating mga lolo't lola bago mapadama sa kanila ang ating pagmamahal at pagpapahalaga. Thus, to assist our senior citizens as they approach their late years, this bill seeks to distribute the 100,000 cash gift much earlier and in three tranches when they reach the ages of 80, of 90, and of 100. Today, I submit to this chamber committee report number 61, sponsoring here with Senate Bill number 2028, entitled An Act Expanding the Coverage of the Centenarians Act of 2016, amending for the purpose Republic Act 10868 and providing funds therefore. Our senior citizens are an integral part of our society, their hard work having shaped the country as we know it today. Even in their late years, they continue to make a significant contribution to the labor force, to their families, and to the state. Recent statistics well cited by our minority leader and author of this uh, measure, however, show that many elderly Filipinos do not reach the age of 100 and are hence unable to enjoy the benefits and privileges of the widely celebrated Centenarians Act of 2016, which awards 100,000 pesos cash to every Filipino centenarian. Life expectancy is now at 79 years old for men, 83 years old for women. The rising cost of living and healthcare expenses have made it very difficult for our senior citizens to afford basic necessities and the expensive medications and procedures of heart ailments, diabetes, kidney failure, and other age-related disabilities. They also face mental health issues issues such as depression and loneliness, not to speak of the neglectful and sometimes abusive treatment of their younger family members. Meron tayong kasabihan, aanhin pa ang damo kung patay na ang kabayo. Hihintayin pa ba natin na mawala ang ating mga lolo't lola bago mapadama sa kanila ang ating pagmamahal at pagpapahalaga. Thus, to assist our senior citizens as they approach their late years, this bill seeks to distribute the 100,000 cash gift much earlier and in three tranches, when they reach the ages of 80, of 90, and of 100. The amounts necessary for the implementation of the law shall be included in the Annual Gener General Appropriations Act and will be upgraded by the National Economic and Development Authority, or NEDA, according to the average annual inflation in the preceding three years. Sa awa ng Diyos, mabibigyan na tayong lahat ng mas mahabang buhay. Sana hindi natin mararamdaman ang pagkabaliwala ng, sa ating pagtanda. Bigyan natin saysay ang mabuting layunin ng batas habang buhay pa ang ating mga lolo't lola. Habang may oras pa tayong lahat. I now ask for the support of my colleagues in passing the proposed amendments. For through this expansion, it is hoped that more of our elderly population may be able to benefit from the Centenarians Act and that they be inspired to further prolong and enjoy their lives even beyond a century. Thank you, Mr. President and honored colleagues. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Leader. President. Thank you, uh, Senator Aimee. Next